So what's the 8-man Seeker R1? That's coming right up. Hey everyone, my name is Rick Cordero. Welcome to Run Playback, where we help you with video and tech tips to lead a more efficient and affordable lifestyle. Let's be creative and save money at the same time. Today we're gonna check out the 8-man Seeker R1, an all-in-one 4K action camera, smart brake light, digital rear view dashboard, and more. 8-man Seeker lineup is the Seeker R1, which is rear facing, the Seeker F1, which is front facing, plus the Seeker 1, a 4K action camera. The series should appeal to cyclists, including e-bikers, who are interested in a seamless integration of safety and tech. We'll see what's inside the box, discuss the features, and take it out for a ride. And full disclosure, this video is sponsored by 8-Man. So let's get to it. So why would you want an all-in-one modular safety camera? Unfortunately, cycling accidents and injuries are on the rise, especially with the growing popularity of e-bikes. The 8-Man Seeker series was created specifically with the cyclist's safety in mind. There's currently no other product on the market that features a live digital rear view camera, smart taillight, anti-collision lasers, and 4K recording all in one. So let's see what's inside the box. New unboxing, let's see what's inside. Ooh, I think I know what this silhouette is. The 8-Man Seeker R1. It's actually a new product that I've never heard about before. This is kind of an exclusive look because I'm not sure it's out yet. Packaging looks really nice. Play forward. We'll get into the features a little bit later, but right now let's just, let's just look at kind of how this is packaged. What does it look like out of the box? Right away, you have this nice hard case, kind of a charcoal gray. You have the 8-Man logo on top, like a charging cable, some zip ties, and another charging cable. Looks like we have a bike mount here, tightening screws, kind of handle, and this is the unit itself. So what this is, is actually like a digital rear view mirror and dashboard. Charging port, got the power button, the display in the back. These are uh, anti-collision lasers <laughs> that shoot out of this unit. Yeah, so if this, this opens up like so, I guess this comes out somehow, but ah, like that, and then this pushes out. There we go. And this is the camera itself. So yeah, this is a 4K action camera. It has internal stabilization, all kinds of stuff. Accessories on the bottom. Let's see what this is all about. We got two boxes here. One is the accessories pouch, smartphone mount. I was wondering about this. Okay, so this is how you would mount your smartphone to act as the digital rear view mirror. Very nice mount, very heavy duty, very strong clamp here. Definitely doesn't feel like a generic phone mount. Looks like something that they created specifically for the Seeker R1. Sport protective frame and mount. I'm assuming this is if you wanna use just the action camera from the Seeker R1. And yes, that's correct. The action camera case, got your mounts up here, sticky mount, a couple of other mounts. Battery cover. This battery cover has an opening so you could access the USB port. Has really nice packaging, has some really quality parts. This feels like a premium product. Next, we got to figure out how to mount this thing on the back of our 72 volt Suron. The Seeker R1 is a modular 4K action camera. This means it comes apart to transform from a 4K action camera to a digital rear mirror and smart taillight with a variety of features. Through the GoApe app, you can stream live footage from the R1 to your smartphone, giving a wide 150 degree field of view. The digital dashboard also displays various information such as speedometer, mileage, altitude, battery life, and compass. It also features an integrated lighting system that includes a smart taillight and brake light to enhance your visibility in the dark. The light sensor can detect ambient lighting to automatically turn on at night. And the anti-collision lasers work in tandem with the smart taillight, which creates a virtual bike lane that reminds motorists to maintain a safe distance. The Seeker R1 is powered by a massive 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is good for about a five hour maximum runtime. The modular Seeker One is an action camera that can record up to 4K resolution and 60 frames per second. In live rear view mode, the camera can do looped incident recording at 2.7K with 150 degree field of view. And both the Seeker R1 and Seeker 1 are weatherproof. They can be used and even charged in the rain or snow. So now let's install it on our custom 72 volt Suron e-bike. All right, so let's install the Ape Man Seeker R1. We have the phone mount with the clamp and we have this little quarter 20 adapter that it came with. What you'll need is a quarter 20 bolt and two washers and that'll screw into here. So let me show you how I mount it. Basically, I drilled a small hole in the rear fender. That's where this bolt screws into. And then we attach 
this guy underneath. And just tighten it. So now that the mount is installed, and we install the Seeker R1 underneath. So Ape Man provides two different lengths. We're gonna use the shorter one just cause there's really no clearance on the sidewalls of this rear fender. There we go. So we'll hand, and then we'll use this um, tightening tool that the kid came with. Now we wanna put the phone mount on the front. So we'll put the clamp on this secondary bar that we have. Feels tight, and then loosen this, and tighten that up. And then we'll turn on the Seeker R1 on the side, just hold it down. You hear a little chime, and it actually starts recording once you turn it on. And then you connect the app, so now we're connected. So now that we've installed the Seeker R1, let's take it out for a ride. So far, so good. Definitely uh, works as a rear dash cam. You do see my Insta360 One X2. Uh, that's just so I can uh, record the back uh, smart tail light. So we'll take it into traffic and see how it performs. And you'll also notice on the dashboard that um, as soon as you turn on the Ape Man Seeker R1, it starts recording and it's loop recording. So uh, you never have to worry about starting and stopping the camera. Also on the dashboard, it's showing me my elevation, my speed. Again, the uh, speedometer, I wish that it could show miles per hour. Right now it shows um, kilometers per hour, which is fine. Uh, but, you know, I think it would be very useful for US or UK riders to see the miles per hour. traffic right now. So we should have some cars coming up uh, behind us and you'll notice um, you'll probably see them coming up on my right side and my left side right here. So that's cool. See that car, see this car coming up here on the right, car coming up right behind me. The field of view is I think 150 degrees field of view so it does look like this car is giving me enough space. You could see the uh, virtual lane right there. Uh, I think if it was intruding into that virtual lane, it would feel like the car is a little bit too close. But overall, it's pretty cool. So we're gonna make a left. Let's see if this car tries to overtake me on the right or if it's actually turning left as well. You know, one thing that I might be noticing as well is um, because the taillight is flashing, it's making me more visible. So that car is kind of slow down in case they don't see me. In case they don't see all this orange, they, uh, they will see the flashing smart taillight. Overall, I think this is a, a really, really cool device. Um, you know, not only for e-bikers, but for traditional cyclists as well. You know, especially since um, regular cyclists go a little bit slower, you know, and cars definitely tend to overtake them a lot more frequently. And it's unsafe, you know, when cars pass you and it'll give you at least three feet of space. So having this to um, hopefully deter them as well as uh, keep them in check because they are being recorded is super helpful. A whole lot of traffic. There you go. I saw you. I saw you coming up on my left. Another one on my left here. Now we're seeing traffic on my left and right. Checking my blind spots. Hey man, is has my back. <laughs> I feel like uh, some of these cars can definitely see the camera is recording. 
which is uh, pretty helpful. Yeah. Like that. So if you're looking for a 4K action camera, a digital rear view mirror, and a smart taillight, the 8-man Seeker R1 makes that decision easier since it's basically all of those things in one. So final thoughts. We think the 8-man Seeker R1 is a pretty innovative product that's suitable for everyone, from traditional cyclists to high-powered e-bikers. One thing to remember is that before each ride, we all make many decisions to minimize risk. Things like safety gear, where to ride, when to ride, and who you ride with. In our opinion, the Seeker R1 adds just another layer of safety to help mitigate risk. Plus, having a rear view camera that's always recording can provide evidence of an incident that involves dangerous drivers. There's no other device on the market that has this much versatility. So if all of this sounds good to you, then the 8-man Seeker R1 is a solid recommend. If you want to dive into more video and tech tips, click the links on the side and remember to like and subscribe so we can help you save money on tech. We'll see you guys in the next video.